Hello friends, welcome to Math Time with Mrs. Itis. Today we're going to do our next few lessons of sorting the sets. And today we're going to take a look at sorting the same set in different ways. So here we have a picture of a table, a gift table with one, two, three, four, five gifts. Now, some of these gifts have things that are similar or the same. And some of these gifts look a little bit different, but they might have something else about them that is the same. So let's talk about that. Let's look here at this table. Which gifts on this table could I circle because they have something about them that is the same? Hmm. Could I circle this gift and this gift? I can. Why is that? Why can I circle this gift and this gift? Because they both have bows. That's right. One gift is small and one gift is tall, but they both have bows. That's right. Good job. Here's a picture of the same set of gifts. Do you see? They're exactly the same. But the first time we sorted these gifts and circled them because they have bows, let's think of another way that we could sort these gifts. Now, we're not gonna do the bows way because we already did it there. Let's think of a different way we could sort these gifts. Hmm, could I sort these gifts by size? I see little, big, big, little, little. Could I circle this little gift and then circle this little gift and this little gift? They don't look the same with the packaging, but they're the same size, they're little. This little gift has a bow, this little gift has shapes, and this little gift is plain, but they are all little gifts. And these two are big gifts. So these two could be sorted the same together because they're both big. So see friends, different things can have different ways of sorting by attribute. We sorted these gifts because they have bows. We sorted these gifts because they're the same size. That's right. All right, turn the page. Let's see about sorting in another different way. Okay. Here on star one, I see a picture of balloons. I see that this balloon is with a dotted circle that we need to trace, okay? Let's circle the large balloons, these big ones. Can I circle this balloon? Yes, I can. Is it the same color? No but that doesn't matter because it's the same size. It is large. Can I circle this balloon? It's the same color. No, I cannot circle this balloon because this balloon is small. And right now I'm looking for all of the large balloons. Do you see another large balloon somewhere else? I see it too, this other balloon here at the far right is large. Let's put some L's for large. Great job, friends. Now choose another color. Let's take a look down here at apple too. I see the balloons again. Let's sort this time by circling all of the balloons that are shaded in with the gray color. Okay, ready? Let's find all of those gray balloons. We're sorting by color this time. Can I circle this balloon? It's small, this is large, but they're both gray. That's right. I'm looking for color this time. These are all shaded in with gray. So these balloons can go together. Let's do a little bonus. Let's get another color. Let's underline the other balloons that can be grouped together, sorted by color. Let's find all of these balloons that are not shaded in. 
So these little balloons could also be sorted like the little white balloons, the big and little white balloons. They're the same color. Awesome, great job, friends. Let's continue sorting by more than one attribute. We've done size, we've done colors, we've done shapes. The other day, we did shapes and kinds. Over here, we did shapes. Let's continue. Here we have some shapes with different sizes, different colors, and different patterns. Oh my goodness, that means we can sort by more than one attribute. Let's see if we can sort these shapes uh, one way by drawing them here in star number one. So let's see, I think I'm going to draw the shapes that have a certain pattern. If I take a look at this circle, it has lines. Are there any other shapes with lines pattern as well? Yes, the bigger circle and the triangle. So let's draw the small circle with the lines. And then we have a larger circle with the lines. And we have a triangle with the lines. We are sorting by the pattern this time. Good job. Is there another way I could sort these shapes? Hmm, could I sort by size this time? Maybe all of the small shapes could go together? Okay, so we have a small circle that has no pattern in it. We have a small circle that has a line pattern in it. And we have a small triangle with no pattern in it. Wow. Let's get another color, friends. So we have sorted by pattern. We have sorted by size. Should we sort by color up here? All right. Let's sort by the shapes that are shaded in, completely shaded in, completely gray. Yes, the triangle and the circle could go together. They are completely shaded in. Great job. Let's take a look at the back. Let's keep in mind that there are more ways to sort than one type of way. So let's take a look here at this line of trucks. Hmm, let's see what they all have that are the same. Well, I see they all have two diagonal lines inside, okay? I see that they all have three wheels that we can see from this side of the page. Hmm, I see a small truck and I see four large trucks. So which truck does not belong because it doesn't have one of the attributes? The first truck, that's right. Even though all of them have diagonals and all of them have three wheels, this one does not belong in this group because it is small and these are all large. All right, good job. Let's go on to apple number two. I see different kinds of shoes and a hat. Well, all of these shoes look different and this hat is totally different. So how would I sort this row? What belongs together? Shoes, shoes belong together. So what's different? What do I need to cross out? The hat, that's right. Even though all of these shoes look different, this is a completely different thing to wear. All of the other shoes that go on our feet. And this is a hat that goes on our head. So it doesn't belong in the group of shoes. Alrighty, let's take a look at the next row, fishy number three row. I see plates and a spoon. These plates have some different patterns. These two plates are the same, but could these two plates still belong in the group of plates? 
Yes, they can because they're all plates. Something doesn't belong. Something is not a plate. What is it? It's the spoon. The spoon does not belong. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take a look at heart number four, okay? Heart number four has objects that can fly in the sky. Kites and an airplane. Well, all of these kites have this diamond pattern with the crisscross in the middle. Their bows are a different color, but they're still all kites. What is in this row that is different than a kite? It's the plane. That's right. Cross it out. Great job, friends. Thank you for helping me sort by more than one attribute. We know we can sort by size. We know we can sort by shape and by color. We even can sort by the type of thing that could be put in a group. It can be an object. It could be something you wear or something you play with too. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye now.